and welcome back. Well, I now have all the reference material within the scene. Um, the primary area is this section down here and that includes the top, bottom, left, right and front orthographic views. Now if we have a look in our left viewport here and I open this up, let's go Alt W, you can see that I also have additional uh, material as well and this is going to come in useful um, later on. Now the thing is with this, if I was to just start modeling now I'd actually find that um, I was selecting a lot of this material and inadvertently moving it so what we've got to do is to freeze it uh, but there's a way to do that and if I select this one here and I right click and I say freeze the selection as you can see it's turned grey and that's no good so what we've got to do is make sure that this doesn't turn grey when we do freeze it. So I'm going to unfreeze all that and then I've got to pop in and go down to the object properties. Any time this week will do. Camtasia is playing up. That's the software I'm using to record this. Object properties. There we go. Show frozen in grey. We want to uncheck that and press OK. Now if we go back to that one and right click come on it is a pain and we say freeze the selection it no longer turns grey and we can't inadvertently select it. So that's basically what I've got to do with all of the reference material that I've just imported and rather than have you sit there watching me do it I'll be back in a few moments well that's that now completed and I can't go around inadvertently selecting any of our reference material it is fixed solid there we go not a thing which is fine but I don't really want to be able to see all this reference material. Hmm. Hold on though. Didn't I do something right at the very beginning? Yep, I did. I went into my layers manager and I created a layer called reference material which if I open this up there is all my items and if I now click on these and say that one I don't want to see it and I don't want to see that one and I don't want to see that one so by having all the reference material in one place I now can hide it or unhide it and work with it as and when I wish um, we can do it so that we have just the one reference material to be working around with or maybe I don't want to see any of it so that's a very distinct advantage of having everything in a layer let's just uh, no, keep those three closed just up and bottom left right top and we've got front it's so simple let me just get all the viewports back and say zoom extends all well that about wraps it up for this tutorial I hope it's been of some benefit to you um, in our next tutorials we should be looking at getting started with the modeling of our Messerschmitt um, 109E so all that remains for me to say is Thanks for joining me, and you've been watching a cracking CGI production.